hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in a jQuery date picker how to set the current date and add the options month and year in a text box control before reload the browser notice the current format of the date is month date and year now I am reloading the browser see here 18th March 2019 19th March 2019 if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates for this video tutorial I am using notepad plus plus notice in this notepad plus plus contains a simple HTML5 code with some header tags h1 h2 and horizontal line and after the horizontal line I have an input element the type is text box control when the, and the idea of the text box is a get date now before adding the jquery functionality to set the current date when page loads i want to display the current date in this text box control and also i want to add the month and year option to the date picker calendar so first we'll check the basic output how it looks the designing path on the browser and this is the output of that code right now this html page contains only the header tags h1 h2 horizontal line and this is the text box control now my aim is when a user click the text box control i want to display the jquery date picker so when we are implementing jquery functionality the first thing we require the latest jquery cdn links so search for jquery latest cdn google and from the search results I'm selecting the hosted libraries in the Google hosted libraries notice at the corner there is a contents panel which contains a jQuery and jQuery UI and first I'm selecting the jQuery here we can find different CDN snippets of jQuery I'm selecting the version 3.3.1 so just copy this part and add in the header section after that I require the jQuery UI also click that one in jQuery UI you can find two CDN links one for the CSS styles and second one is the jQuery UI.min.js file just copy both links and place after the main script so now let's add the script I'm closing the script tag now inside the script I'm adding the function now the first functionality I'm adding when a user clicks the text box control I want to display the jQuery calendar dollar between double quotes I'm adding the text box ID which is get date hash get date dot date picker that's it we have added the functionality when a user clicks the text box control it displays the jQuery calendar let's check the output save the file I'm reloading the browser see here we got the jquery calendar now my next task is I want to add the month and year option into this calendar control in the date picker I'm adding curly braces to add the attributes change month column comma change year column two and after adding these two properties let's save this file I'm reloading the browser so after adding the month and year now I'm selecting the date and notice here we got a month and year also the month is March 2019 now the last task I want to set the current date default 
when page loads I want to display in the text box control the current date so the current right now when I reload the page the current date is not showing up now let's set the current date to this text box control now after the date picker function I'm adding dot date picker another date picker and this date picker takes two parameters the first one is set date comma between single calls the second parameter I'm adding zero zero means the current date the current date the today's date is 18th March 2019 so when page loads I want to display the current date in a text box control so let's save this file I'm reloading the browser notice here we got the current date 18th March 2019 now let's set the date format also at the top date format the date format I'm adding DD which is a date capital MM month and small yy is a year comma let's save this file we'll check the results on the browser before reload the browser notice the current format of the date is month date and year now I'm reloading the browser see here 18th March 2019 19th March 2019 I have selected that's it.